Hey everybody, my name is Joe White and I'm with Hybrid SEM and today uh, we're doing lesson three of Internet Marketing 101. Uh, today we're going to be talking about web analytics and why it's important for every business out there. So uh, the first thing I want to talk to you about is why any internet marketer would use web analytics. Um, it's actually pretty funny because a lot of uh, clients that we come across and a lot of uh, discussions that I've had with uh, people who own websites is that they don't normally use web analytics. I, well, I shouldn't say normally. I think a lot of them do, but uh, A, they don't understand the power behind it. And uh, uh, internet marketers, uh, you know, as far as beginners, uh, they tend to leave that aspect out. Uh, and it's a crucial piece of you know, your marketing. So why do we use web analytics? First of all, we analyze pages. We analyze uh, you know, who is coming to the websites. We, we analyze where they're coming from. Uh, we look at what refer referring URLs are sending us traffic. Um, and that can also give us leeway to target uh, additional referring URLs or market further on those sites that are driving traffic to us. Um, it helps us make better decisions as a marketer. Uh, it's really difficult to make decisions if you don't know where you're at, you don't know what's coming into your site, you don't know why people are clicking in different areas or why people are leaving. And uh, web metrics help us analyze that and help us refine our processes. So again, without having any type of analytical system put into place, it's very difficult to make uh, marketing decisions. And uh, one thing that you're going to want to remember is that <clears throat> if you are a company and you're going to be spending, let's say, $10,000 a day on AdWords or, you know, as a, encompassing your full marketing strategy, uh, you're basically going to be throwing money away if you have a marketer who's not analyzing metrics or you don't have a team uh, or a system in place. Um, so again, another thing that you're going to want to look at is your peaks and valleys. Uh, definitely, uh, if you have a large spike in traffic and you're not able to measure where this traffic came from, why it came in, uh, that's going to be a problem. If you have a severe drop in your traffic, uh, you're going to want to know why and you're going to want to be able to analyze that. So this is why we use web metrics. So as far as an, an industry overview on analytics, there's uh, a slew of companies out there that measure uh, web traffic uh, and different types of web tra uh, traffic from social media marketing now to uh, you know, pay-per-click to uh, just uh, normal web traffic. And uh, there's a few companies that you're going to want to familiarize yourself with because they're pretty uh, large staples within the industry. And that's going to be click tracks, uh, you're going to have Omniture, uh, web trends, and then you have your, your uh, free service through Google, which is called Google Analytics. Uh, ClickTracks is a very expensive uh, solution, uh, usually meant for larger companies doing a lot of business. Uh, I actually helped uh, Lunar Pages Web Hosting uh, implement uh, ClickTracks on their end. And uh, it's a great system. It goes down to the nano. Uh, and if you're spending $10,000 a day on your marketing, uh, you're definitely going to want to have uh, a system like that put into place. Uh, if you're gonna, if you're a company that's going to use a free uh, system like Google Analytics, uh, a I would recommend leveraging multiple analytics systems. So don't don't just rely on Google Analytics. You might not get a clear path of what uh, is actually going on with your site. If you use multiple different metrics, uh, you'll tend to notice that there is a variation between what is being reported. Uh, one of the reasons being is that uh, analytics is not a log file analyzer, uh, which basically takes anything that happens on a site, on a server, um, and analyzes that. That's what a log file does. Uh, instead, Google Ana Analytics uses a JavaScript insert. So uh, again, leverage multiple free analytics services uh, if you can. With Google Analytics, uh, it, like I said, it's a free system. Uh, it, it's pretty good. There's a lot of things that uh, you're going to want to take a look at when you are using analytics. And uh, key things that you're going to want to focus around with any type of analytics system, but specifically Google. And we're going to have some slides come up in a moment so you can see exactly what it's going to look like. Uh, number one is going to be your entry pages. Where is the traffic being directed to? Is it your home page? Maybe it's a promotional page. 
Maybe you're getting a lot of traffic through your landing pages and, and your AdWords. Uh, these are things that you're going to want to analyze. Uh, let's take a look at uh, your visitor paths. Uh, definitely being able to set up funnels uh, within Google Analytics is a great tool to be able to use. Um, you can uh, basically force people through a particular funnel system and uh, let's say it's all the way down to a thank you page uh, after a conversion. So these are things that you're going to want to take a look at as well. Page views. Uh, you're going to want to look at how many people are coming to your, your website, how many pages are being viewed, uh, and that's going to be a valuable tool to be able to find out where you were before your marketing efforts and where you are now. Uh, with any type of marketing, we all know that uh, as many eyes on site or eyes on product as you possibly can get is, is, is going to be very beneficial for your business. <clears throat> uh, your bounce rate. Bounce rate is something that's pretty critical depending on what type of site you have. Um, if your bounce rate is uh, you know, very, 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 very high, you're going to want to take a look at why that's happening. Um, and through the analytics, you're going to be able to determine why that could be happening. So uh, bounce rate, again, if, people, if you're driving traffic there, that, which you can see through your page views, but then you see a lot of people not spending a lot of time on site, and then they're jumping off real quick, Maybe it's your design. Maybe the offer is not good enough. Maybe the site or, or, or the concept of the site isn't working. So you're going to want to work on ways to uh, reduce that bounce rate down. Uh, conversions, uh, if you are going to set up a funnel, uh, it's going to be really important to look at those conversions and to find out how well your current site is working. Uh, referring URLs, this is really important. Uh, if, you have, if you take a look at your overall traffic, and you look at your referring URLs, you're going to be able to see uh, basically in a pie chart what uh, your percentage of overall traffic is coming from. Uh, typically, you're going to see a lot of traffic coming from referral sites, uh, referring URLs. And as a marketer, we're able to kind of step back and say, okay, well, uh, you know, I have a social networking site and I did uh, you know, 10,000 visitors this month in coupon referring URLs or uh, contest URLs. So you know, you know as a marketer that hey, these particular sites send us traffic. Um, what we can do now is target that site, target uh, you know this particular vertical a little bit more aggressively to draw more traffic and conversions. Uh, another thing you want to look at is exit pages. Uh, once people come in, where are they exiting? Are they exiting on the first page that they entered? If so, that's a problem. Um, are they exiting after 10 pages that they've clicked through? That's actually pretty decent. So what doesn't get picked up typically with uh, your normal analytics, let's say like with a Google Analytics? Uh, you're going to typically not get information on RSS subscribers, how many people have subscribed. Uh, basically this is anything that has to do with social media marketing. It, it's severely lax in the social media marketing area. area. and. Uh, I actually just did a, an article for a website magazine and uh, I talked about the different social media marketing analytics and uh, def, uh, check out our blog at hybridsam.com forward slash blog and you'll see the post and I encourage everyone to go check it out. It's a good read. It's a good read. A lot, uh, social media marketing is obviously uh, you know, very popular right now. Um, so back on track with uh, you know, what doesn't get picked up. Uh, you know, your social bookmarking links don't get picked up. Uh, activity uh, on your comments, um, any type of viral marketing uh, doesn't get picked up, uh, engagement marketing that won't get picked up, uh, the mood of the conversation and the mood of, of how people are responding to anything that you've put out there um, is not picked up. So these are things that as a social media marketer we need to know. Unfortunately Google Analytics doesn't give us that information. But if you check out that post you will find some analytic systems that do. Uh, also, Spark. I, I spoke with uh, Joe over at uh, Isaiah, and Spark, Social Spark, should be coming out pretty soon, and that's a system that we're going to be demoing and using a lot for our clients because it's free. And uh, basically, you know, with with the tools that I've just given you, you should be able to dive in and uh, take a look at analytics, get familiar with it, and uh, if you have any questions, definitely leave us a comment. Thanks, guys. Talk to you soon.